Hello, and welcome to Physics Teacher. This is a lab I do with my grade 12 physics students to help them analyze forces in two dimensions. We're going to do this theoretically and experimentally, so let's get started. Now, if you want to follow along, the lab handout is available for free in the descriptions, so you can go and download that. What we're doing is I have this set up. This is a force table, and I have two pulleys here, three strings. This string is attached to 70 grams of mass. This string is attached to 50 grams of mass. And on the force table, we have the degrees labeled from 0 to 360. Now, the first one, which has 50 grams of mass, is at 0 degrees. And the second one, which has 70 grams of mass, is at 120 degrees. What we're going to do is figure out what force or what weight do I need to add to the third string and where do I need to add it so that the whole system is in equilibrium and would essentially not move if I removed the spike. So let's see how we would do that mathematically. Okay, let's start by drawing a coordinate system. This is going to be my positive x-axis, and this is going to be my positive y-axis. And I'll also have this as 0 degrees and 90, 180, and so on. Okay, so we have one vector right here at 0 degrees. Let's call that my first force vector, F1. And that we have 50 grams. So to solve for this, since they're just hanging, it's mass times gravity because it's a gravitational force. Where the mass is 50 grams, change it to kilograms, so 0 0.05 kilograms, times g, which is 9.81 newtons per kilogram. So we get a force of 0 0.49 newtons. Now our other one is at 120 degrees, so that would be somewhere over here. Let's call that F2. And if this is 90 degrees, which it is, then we just need another 30 degrees to get to the 120 marker. So to solve for F2, let me do this over here. Same thing, that is 70 grams, so we're going to change that into kilograms, so 0 0.07 kilograms times by 9.81 newtons per kilogram, which gives us about 0 0.69 newtons. Now our job is to find some force F3, which is probably somewhere around here. I don't know where, okay? so that all the forces are in equilibrium, so that all the forces add to zero. And we can write that as the sum of all forces equals zero. So we would have F1 plus F2 plus F3 will equal zero. Now, if we're trying to solve for F3, what I can do is take F1 plus F2 and you can see if I bring this to the other side of the equation, that equals negative F3. So all I need to do is add F1 and F2 and take the opposite direction of whatever vector I get. So you can see if I add F1 and F2. Right, let me just um, translate F1 over here. Right, so there is F1. So if I add them by connecting tip to tail, we get this vector here which is exactly opposite to the one we're looking for. So the magnitude will be the same. The direction will be off by exactly 180 degrees. So let's add vectors F1 and F2. Now, how we're going to add vectors is we are for first going to add all of our X components, and then we are going to add all of our Y components. So we're just dealing with F1 and F2. So for our X components, we have uh, F1. F1 is completely along our X axis. So we have uh, 0 0.49 newtons. OK, 
Okay. Uh, F2, however, is on an angle. So we're going to have to split F2 into X and Y components. So we're going to have a Y component here and an X component here. So our Y component is going to be 0 0.69 times the cos of 30 degrees. So that's just using SOHCAHTOA because we know this is a right angle triangle. Our X component here is going to be 0 0.69 times the sine of 30 degrees. Again, using SOHCAHTOA as it is opposite our 30 degree angle. Now, what we are going to do, because this is actually in the negative x direction, we are going to have to subtract that component. So subtract 0 0.69 times the sine of 30. And when we do that, we get 0 0.1, I'm just going to use an extra digit here, for now 145 newtons. So that's an x. Uh, what about in y? So let's do y. We'll do y over here. Now, our first force vector doesn't have a y component. It's perfectly along x. So our only y component is right here. That's our only y component. So it is going to be equal to 0 0.69 times the cos of 30, which is equal to about 0 0.598 newtons. So just keeping an extra digit there for now. OK. F1, whatever this vector is, F1 plus F2, let's call that what we're trying to solve here, F net for these two vectors, or the sum of those two vectors, it is simply going to equal the sum of its parts, or the sum of its x and its y components. So we have the sum of x, we have the sum of y, but we can't just add them together. Because okay, this is in our x-axis, this is in our y-axis. So what we're going to do is add tip to tail. So if I were to draw this, here is our x at 0 0.145 newtons. And adding tip to tail like we do with our vectors, this one's much bigger, at 0 0.598 newtons. So this vector then, right here, is our f1 plus f2. Or for now, let's just call this our um, resultant or F net for now. Now this is a nice right angle triangle, so I can easily figure out its magnitude and direction. Let's start with its magnitude. That's just Pythagorean theorem. So the magnitude of that F net is uh, A squared plus B squared equals C squared. So we're going to take the square root of 0. 598 squared plus 0 0.145 squared and we get 0 0.62 newtons. All right, and our angle, let's use tangent, so tan theta is going to equal to opposite 0 0.598 newtons divided by adjacent 0. 1, 4, 5. And you take the inverse tan of both sides and we can get our angle to be about 76 degrees. All right, so let's look at our angle. If this, let me redraw a coordinate system here. 76 degrees looks something like this. That's 76 degrees. To figure out this angle, for F3, which would be from here all the way around, we just need to add another 180 degrees. So on our force table, the angle that we should get would be 180 plus 76, which is 256 degrees. We'll test that out experimentally in a second. But first, this is the force I have. How much mass does that mean? So we're going back and we're going to do Fg equals Mg. And so solving for mass, we get the force 0 0.62 newtons all divided by our gravitational field strength 9.81 newtons per kilogram. 
and we get a mass of 0 0.063 kilograms, which is about 63 grams. So let's see how close we are. Now let's test this experimentally to see if it matches up with our theoretical calculations. First, I'm going to find the angle. To do that, I'm going to pull it and move it until it is balanced. So it looks like about here, at about 255 degrees. So at that angle, I am going to place a pulley. Tighten it in and place our string right over top of that pulley. Now I need to add weights to see how much weight I need to add to get it to balance. Start with a 50, so we got 50 grams here. Okay, looks like I need more. We'll try a 20. That was too much. So we'll remove the 20 and I'll try a 10. That actually looks pretty good. And if I remove this, there we go. It looks like they're balanced. So I had 60 grams here at 255 degrees. Did that match our theoretical values? Pretty close. Now I'm going to give you one to try on your own. So at zero degrees, I'm going to place a total of 100 grams. And then at 60 degrees, I am going to place 50 grams. So we got 100 grams at zero degrees, 50 grams at 60 degrees. Try the calculations yourself to figure out where I need to place the third string and how much weight I need to add to it in order to get the system in equilibrium. So pause the video, try it. Now that you're back, I'm going to test it experimentally and see how close you are. So let's remove this pulley. I'm going to move this around. Looks like about here at 205 degrees. Oh, not quite. Maybe around 203 degrees. So I'm going to place the pulley there. Put our string over top. And now let's add weights. So I'm going to start with 50 grams. Need more. Let's try 100. Need even more. Let's try 150. Too much, all right. 120, not enough. 140, that looks pretty good. Let's test it. And it's an equilibrium. So our third string was at about 203 degrees with 140 grams of mass. Okay, how'd you do? Let me know in the comments.